Hi everyone, I just bought a Foreo Luna 2 for normal skin. This is my first impressions video about it, so if you want to know all of the pros and the cons and whether it's worth buying, stay tuned because I'm going to tell you all about it. Hi, Ziggy here from Look 10 Years Younger and my mission on YouTube is to inspire mature women to look and feel even more beautiful and confident than they already are. And one of the ways that I've been trying to do that for myself in uh, these last couple of weeks or so is to use my new Aphorio Luna 2 cleansing device for the face. Now, I already have a Clarisonic which I'd been using uh, every single night and I love my Clarisonic, I have to say, beautiful deep cleansing uh, brush that that is. Uh, I don't use it in the morning though because I find if I use it twice a day it can be a little bit aggressive on my skin and that's even with um, the very gentle brush head. So I wanted to try something that I could use in the morning um, and keep my Clarisonic running at night. So. Uh, I got the Foreo Luna 2. Now I already had given to me um, one of the little Foreo plays which is a tiny little one about this size and it, it's a disposable one in effect it only lasts for about a month um, and it's great for trying out uh, the Foreo to find out whether you want to go any further. So I'd tried that, I quite like how my skin responded to that so I thought I would upgrade and go with the Foreo Luna 2. Now this is for normal skin, it comes in um, uh, it comes in different colours and you can have it for oily skin, for combination skin, for dry skin, for normal skin. My skin is probably slightly combination maybe a little bit dry, uh, it, primarily it's fairly normal so that's why I went with that. I bought it myself um, from David Jones and it was $249 so you know this is not a cheap drugstore option, this is a bit of a heavy investment really. Um, now it is a sealed unit so it, it, it doesn't come apart which means it's waterproof and you can take it in the shower with you. And I have to tell you that is a major plus as far as I'm concerned that something's waterproof and you know you can keep it in the bathroom safely and not have to worry about it. Um, now it comes in a box like so and inside the box as well as the Luna 2 of course you get um, a little carry bag which I guess would be fantastic if you're going to take it away with you for the weekend or on a holiday or for work or you know whenever you're traveling it comes with <clears throat> two instruction books I'll show you those in a sec because I found them incredibly frustrating um, and it comes with a charging cord this is a USB charging cord so you can just plug it into your computer or into USB plug uh, and charge it up and I found it only took a couple of hours to charge and one of the major pros with um, this Foreo Luna 2 I found is that you only need to charge it once every couple of months um, at the very at the very least you know uh, the instruction books say that you might not need to charge it once every seven or eight months um, in contrast to my Clarisonic which I need to charge every month uh, now um, I'll go back to the instruction books and I'll, I'll tell you why I was so frustrated with these um, this is the the main instruction book if you will um, and it, it's in lots of different languages um, and for English literally there are one two three pages and um, half of that is about you know the normal safety stuff that they go on about with electrical appliances um, and the instructions to actually use the machine are incredibly basic and really not helpful at all. Um, the quick start guide which is this little sheet here has no written instructions whatsoever it's all in pictures. Now look I'm not a stupid person I, I, I have some brains but <laughs> 
clearly not with Foreo lunar instructions I don't have brains because I could not work this out for the life of me and I actually had to switch it on and use it to work out what the heck the instructions <laughs> were trying to tell me go figure anyway basically you switch it on with this little um, press button here uh, and it begins to vibrate slightly and I've got to say that oh these little um, villi, these little bris bristles here are incredibly soft and gentle. There are tiny ones there and there are slightly bigger ones at the tip to do um, perhaps your nose area in your nostril area or where you might need a little bit of extra oomph so to speak and on the back there are ridges um, that you can use for an anti-wrinkle function. But I'll focus on the front function first, which is um, the cleansing. You press it on, as I said there, um, and it begins to vibrate very, very slightly, and off you go. Now, it gives you um, little signals by quickly changing the vibration um, to tell you about timing. So there's about 15 seconds for here, 15 seconds for across here, and then another 15 seconds or whatever it is to do the rest of your face. Um, I actually don't take the blind bit of notice of that and I just do whatever I need to do. Tend to use it for a minute or a minute and a half or so um, so I'm not taking any notice of those vibration signals uh, and it keeps going pretty much until you switch it off. One of the things that I find a little bit annoying with this is that it has two modes. It has the cleansing mode that you use this side for. And by the way, when you're using it, use it really gently. Don't press it into your skin because you lose the impact of the sonic vibrations. Just use it really, really lightly on your skin so that your skin can get the sonic vibrations. Um, so what was I saying? So you switch it on once for cleansing mode. Great, that's fantastic, cleansing away. And you switch it off and it will sit and wait for you to switch it back on again to do the anti-wrinkle mode on the back. Um, I have to be honest and say I've not used the anti-wrinkle mode. I have um, a machine, um, my professional machine. I'll just take, move you around there and show you. You can see that's my machine there. Um, I use that um, in my beauty room that's got all my sonic apparatus on it and everything so I use that for that um, so I find it a little bit annoying that I have to switch it on and off and then on and then off again just for a cleansing mode but you know go figure it's only a little thing now you can actually get a Foreo cleanser as well this was a sample um, that I was given last year and I've been using it every day since I got it. Um, this is the day cleanser, I believe it, there's a night cleanser available as well. And there's also a silicon cleanser that you can use to clean the little bristles. But given that it is silicon, it's really good because it's antibacterial. Um, and unlike perhaps your Clarisonic brush, I, I swap my Clarisonic brush out. I change it out every two months uh, and I wash it every day as well. But a brush will harbour bacteria. But um, the silicon in the Foreo 2 cannot harbour bacteria, so that's really good. Um, I found the cleanser to be um, really nice and gentle. Uh, Foreo say when you're using a cleanser with this Luna 2, do not use a grainy cleanser, a clay cleanser or a silicon based cleanser um, because obviously it's going to mess up your um, your little bristly bits here and given it's $249 you really can't be affording to mess up your little bristly bits. In quick summary I have to say I'm really enjoying using it in the morning. I have had no breakouts from it whatsoever as many other um, reviewers have noted. I wonder if that's partly though because I already use a Clarisonic, I use AHAs, BHAs and Retin-A um, and so my skin is used to being manipulated and um, having treatments and done so forth done to it so I wonder if that's why I haven't had any major reactions to this I find it really lovely and gentle. Uh, one downside that I found with it is that I don't find it particularly easy to hold um, 
it's I'm always constantly concerned about in case I'm going to drop it out of my hand particularly if your hands are wet you know when you're washing your face um, and so I tend to keep a really tight grip on it for that purpose and I'm really not sure ever what is the most comfortable way to hold it so perhaps that's just me I just need to find different ways to hold it and stop being such a princess about whether I'm going to drop it or not for me with normal skin I would not use only this uh, I really like it I have to say and I'm definitely going to keep using it but I wouldn't give away my Clarisonic I find my Clarisonic gives me a much deeper cleanse it really gets into my pores uh, but I find this gives me a light cleanse so that's why I prefer this in the morning when I don't need a deep cleanse I just need a light cleanse to get me ready for the day um, I really really like it but I definitely wouldn't be giving away the Clarisonic so that's my first impressions after two weeks use of the Foreo Luna 2 I really am enjoying it and uh, I'm going to keep going with it. I'm really keen to hear your views. Um, if you've tried the Foreo Luna and what you think of it, please um, comment below and tell me all about that. I'd love to know from those of you, particularly perhaps who've been using it for longer than I have, um, what your thoughts are on it as well. Please subscribe and join the Look 10 Years Younger team. You'll find the subscribe button that looks like this and you'll find it down there. And when you click on it, poof, it magically changes and now it'll look like that. If you click on the little bell button that's in there, it'll bring up a new window. And if then if you click on the button that says, send me all notifications from this channel, every time I upload a video, It'll be first in your subscription feed so you can stay up to date with me. I love sharing videos with you. So you can find my last video here and you can find another great video from me down there. I upload every Monday and every Thursday so let's stay in touch. So that's been another video from me to you. I look forward to seeing you in my next video so until then, bye from me.